I'm 30, I'm even 25. So I gotta rush, rush, rush. And then they put all this anxiety onto finding a man. Years go by. And instead of enjoying life, understanding who you are, do you even know what you want in a man? Do you even know, you know, what you desire out of life? Or are you just trying to get that man? Spend time with yourself, spend time dating yourself, romanticizing life with yourself, experiencing things, doing things that scare you. That is not the conversation that I feel like our parents had with us. Black women have these careers, they have money, they have the homes, they have the houses, they have the cars. And at the end of the day, why bring a man into your space into your energy into your life who isn't adding value welcome to another episode of the that's scary with melanie p podcast i'm your girl melanie p and we are here to have a conversation oh oh my god so i was on tiktok going through my little algorithm going through my little for you page situation and i saw a few things a little bit disturbing related to black women and I really wanted to discuss this I really wanted to really really have a conversation as you know I'm all about the black love so as I was on TikTok you know just minding my business like I always do the first video I saw was a black woman proposing to herself we closest to the summer when we go out Now, I was like, am I reading this wrong? <laughs> it was a congratulations woman going viral for her surprise marriage proposal, but there was no groom in sight. Then I bounced over and I saw this other lady and she was basically saying she don't want nobody black. She want her a white king. I've never seen an unhappy black woman with a fine ass white man. I've never seen it. And then and, and we could talk about it more because the ones that be happy as hell with a white man, they begin everything that they want. And that's going to be me next. Happily in love, living a life. They man spoiling them. They just over there. Where the white man at? I'm, I'm at the point where I'm sick. Of you niggas. Like I, I am. I am. I am. Y'all give nothing no more. So I'm dating out of my comfort zone now and I'm going to get me a Caucasian man. <laughs> Then on this other video, I saw um, a relationship coach. I think his name is Anwar. And he was talking about black women and their lack of femininity, their lack of feminine energy. Communicate in a masculine way. And there are some women that communicate in a feminine way, right? There's a difference between I need flowers. I need you to come and see me. I need you to da, 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 da. Versus I would feel really connected and I would, I would really be happy if you came to see me. There's okay. a way to communicate things from a feminine energetic perspective versus a masculine energetic perspective. Masculine is thought. Masculine is action do. Feminine is centered around the feelings and being. And I will tell you this. A lot of women of color specifically are in their masculine energy mm -hmm. for a variety of different reasons. Mm -hmm. What I know for sure and the, the deeper reason behind that is because there's actually a lack of feminine energetic love when they're being raised so and it just went down it just had me thinking you know you have one black woman proposing to herself <laughs> having a surprise proposal to herself then you have one black woman saying go get you a white king the water's fine we over here living it up boom then you have this relationship coach who seems to be a successful relationship coach saying you know, I've heard him say several times that black women need to date outside of their race and that black women need to operate more in their feminine energy. So, so loaded, like such a loaded, loaded conversation. Let's start with the woman who proposed to herself. You know, it had me thinking my views on marriage, my views on relationships have drastically changed. Honestly, with my own experiences recently and with what I see on social media, 
what I see on Facebook, what I see my single friends going through. And I feel like black women are at a place where marriage, having a man is not the goal. It's not like, it's not the main factor. They're not willing to settle for what they feel like they don't want, i.e., Ebony K. Williams, she's a single woman. She wanted a child. She went out there and got pregnant without a man. She has her baby. Um, Naomi Campbell, single woman, no man in sight. She adopted her kids, living her life in her rich situation. Um, a lot. And then you look on like TikTok, you look on social media. And one thing that I love to see is if you look up like black girl aesthetic, black girl soft life, black girl luxury, you will see a lot of these black young women in their nice apartments, drinking their sleepy cocktail with their morning routine, going to work out, coming home, working a good ass job, going on trips, doing all this stuff. And it seems like men are not the center men are not the ne like not the necessity women black women are not settling right now I know the word settling and I know the energy behind settling is very subjective it's a whole argument back and forth I feel like that's one of the reasons why black love is where it is is because we're constantly arguing about what stuff means and, you know, oh, well, you think you settle in, you ain't high value, you're not low value, you what you bring to the table. So that's a whole nother conversation. However, at first with my traditional values, it made me like not like it, not like the feeling of women going out here, having kids by themselves, living a life without trying to like, like without putting so much energy behind marriage, right? But then I took a step back. I thought about my daughter. I thought about my nieces. I thought about women that I see. And it's like, why be with a man who's going to stress you out, who's going to not add to the value of your life, but probably take away from the value of your life? Why settle for that if you feel like you're settling versus being in your own space, having your own things, traveling doing whatever and then just allowing the life to go on I'm not saying that you don't need a man because you need a man I'm not saying that you don't need to be married because I still really much value and respect marriage but I also respect women not being in toxic situations I think also because I have a daughter who is almost 18 and we have these conversations and I think about things that I've gone through with my marriage in dating, putting and centering men in my life so much. You know, my parents were married for 50 years. So my goal was to get out of college, be married and replicate what I saw growing up, replicate what my family wanted for me. And honestly, I have to be honest with myself. I feel like I spent... 10 plus years, let's dare say 20 years, trying to get that in which my parents wanted for me, that in which I grew up versus defining how life looks for Melanie. Example, so I was talking to my daughter earlier this week and we were talking about her life plans. She's about to go to college. She's about to, she's in her last year of high school. And I told her, I said, you know, what does future ryan look like for you right because when she called me on facetime i was at my job stressed with work stressed with personal stress 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 and i thought to myself this ain't 1982 this ain't 1990 this ain't even 1940 this is 2024 it is my job to give my daughter the knowledge the direction the guidance the freedom to make her own choices unapologetically that I feel like I didn't get. And here's the thing. It is no shade to my parents. My parents were our bomb dot com I had the best upbringing and I know that they mean and meant well as to what they want for me. But here's the thing. Black people especially can sometimes be so into tradition that they're not moving along with the times. They're not elevating the way they should, right? So I told my daughter I said, "Listen, start visualizing how you want your life to look 
start visualizing, you know, what could you see yourself doing as a career every day that would make you happy? How does life look for you as an adult? How does life look for you in your 20s? Do you want to travel the world? Do you want to experience life? I encourage her to experience life travel the world, try different cuisines, stay in different countries, live life versus centering a man and marriage in your life. Because what happens is a lot of times when you do that, you're just searching, searching, searching for this thing in your mind. And here's the thing. If your true, true, true goal is marriage, family, kids, go for it. Would I suggest that being your true goal? I would not. I think that we need to encourage our our daughters, especially our black daughters, to self self heal, do the work, you know, spend time with yourself, go to therapy, you know, spend time dating yourself, romanticizing life with yourself, experiencing things, doing things that scare you like that is not the conversation that I feel like our parents had with us again, not to their fault, right? Not to their fault because that's the era that they grew up in, but we're 20 plus years ahead of them. And we have opportunity. We have options. We have choices that we can freely make. Black women have these careers. They have money. They have the homes. They have the houses. They have the cars. And at the end of the day, why bring a man into your space, into your energy, into your life who isn't adding value, who isn't adding a smile to your face, who is who doesn't bring anything to the table. And let me be clear, I don't even necessarily mean just finances, but I feel like a lot of women get to this space to where, oh, I'm 30. Oh, I'm even 25. Oh, I'm 35, so I gotta rush, rush, rush. And then they put all this anxiety onto finding a man, you know what I'm saying? And they, years go by, years go by. And instead of enjoying life, understanding who you are, you know, loving yourself, identifying what it is that you even like, do you even know what you want in a man? Do you even know, you know, what you desire out of life? Or are you just trying to get that man? Are you trying to get this thing in your head, this family that, hey, Maybe it exists, maybe it doesn't. Now, the only thing about this I'm gonna say is that, you know, I got married young. Um, I had children. I mean, I have a I have a do- I have two daughters, and I don't know how it is for a woman to not have kids. And I cannot speak to what a woman would feel like if she didn't have kids. I can't speak to what a woman would feel like if she's never had a husband, you know, because that's not my situation. But just being on both, I've had experiences on both sides of that. And I have, I have things, experiences that I've been through and who, I don't know if I've made the right choices in life. I will say that a lot of my choices that I made were based off what I felt like my parents wanted for me, what I felt like I learned growing up and what I felt like I was just taught to to want. I used to always say, I just want what my parents had when I was growing up. And, you know, do I still want that? Definitely. But at the end of the day, that's one phase, one pocket of life. But you can't take this one little ball of what you desire and then miss all this other space and opportunity around it because you're just centering men you're centering this certain life that you want that you can get but in the meantime travel love life meet people do the shit that scares you live your life so I feel like we're going around in circles here but in terms of this lady who proposed to herself is she wrong like do she look stupid she probably do but at the end of the day if this woman is 35 years old And let's say she goes on social media and she, cause I've been there. I have gone on social media and I have seen these amazing proposals. Let's just be transparent. I have gone on social media and there was a time where it was really debilitating. And, you know, you see, you know, Debbie out there having this beautiful grand proposal 
fireworks going off, you know, all these things, dozen roses here, there, and you're triggered because you're like, well, damn, I want that. Then you get sad, then you get depressed, and then you're comparing your life to Debbie life, and now you're all in an uproar. So at the end of the day, kudos to this woman for seeing something that she wanted. Maybe she's single and not in a space to where a man is proposing to her. So she gave it to herself. She proposed to herself with her roses, with her excitement, with her party. You know, there's a such thing now as a divorce, a divorce party. Now, years ago, you felt ashamed to have a divorce, to be a divorced lady or man. But now they have full blown divorce parties and celebrations. So at the end of the day, we have to evolve with the times. It is goods and it's bads, pros and cons to everything. But I want to focus on the pros in living life for you, living life based on your desire, not living life based on perception of other people, not living life based on maybe being embarrassed or wanting to like look a certain way to others. But what makes you happy? You know, single people want what people who are not single want. People who are not single want some things that single people have. You know what I'm saying? Like there's pros and cons, but I would much rather, especially having daughters, I would much rather my daughters take their time, find a partner, a man that brings peace to their lives versus settling for someone that stresses them out makes them cry, makes them sad. Like I have told my daughter and my nieces this over the years, like I want better for y'all. You know, I truly, truly want better for y'all. I'm going to go into another episode because I feel like I kind of went on a tangent here, but I know someone needs to hear this. Like I wish somebody said this shit to me when I was younger, cause I would have made a lot of different choices. Um, But I'm here for this woman proposing to herself. I'm here for black women going after what they want and not going after what society says they should have. I'm going to have another show on, um, you know, this whole black woman need their white king thing because, you know, it's kind of controversial, but I'm here for it. Was I here for it a while ago? Maybe not. But I'm here for the white king listen y'all let me know like if you're single could you see yourself proposing to yourself having a beautiful ceremony like listen here's the thing none of my proposals both my proposals was was bullshit they were horrible nothing special it is what it is if I could do my own proposal shit I would like that's a beautiful memory and honestly let's, let's keep it a buck I'm very jealous of like women whose partners you know, plan these extravagant proposals for them. Because you know what? That isn't saying that they're going to be together forever, but it's a fucking good start to be with someone that is thinking about you in a way that, okay, maybe this isn't my thing. Maybe I don't care about a grand proposal, but my girl would love it. Oh, to be with a man that, He isn't doing what he thinks he wants, but he's thinking about what will put a smile on your face. He's not only thinking about it, he's planning it. You know, he's doing all these details to surprise you with a proposal. That is a good sign. That is a good start to a relationship. Because that says, in my opinion, that he's thinking about what's going to put a smile on my woman's face. What beautiful memories and stories will she be able to tell? A lot of men don't care about proposals, right? Surprises. Um, That's really a woman, a feminine energy type thing. But when a man goes out of his way to surprise you, to do these things for you that isn't really even in his wheelhouse, to reach out to his friends, to reach out to your friends, to be like, okay, listen, this isn't my thing, but I know that Melanie would love this. So could you help me plan this surprise for her? Nigga. Listen, I'm getting sad thinking about it, to be honest with you. I don't know. But listen, let me know what you think about this proposal and 
drop a comment below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next episode.